Hello guys and welcome to For the Water Wrestling. I'm of course your main commentator, Jack Ramsey, and I'm of course alongside Jason Todd. Uh, hello Jack, great to be here on Impact. Yep, great to be here indeed. And well, I'm being told we're going to be starting off with a few words from, well, Korgbane. And I don't want to be near Korgbane after what happened last week with, uh, with Jim. Let's see what he's got to say. Jim Nightheart. You picked with the wrong gesture of darkness, Jim. Do you even know what you have done, Jim? Because I'm pretty sure you haven't. Jim, after what you have costed, and after the person you've messed with, I challenge you Jim Neidhart to a no holds barred match and there will be no mercy and your arm will be guaranteed broken and well some mean words there by Corbin well that's a match later on tonight Jim for Corbin no holds barred but now we got ourselves a uh, Intercontinental Championship, six men battle royal, all six men already inside the ring. And well, let's get this match underway. Get and, underway. Uh, well, out of all these six men here, of course, Austin Aries, our Intercontinental Champ. Uh, who are you going to go for here, Jason? No, I might actually go with Austin Aries. He is the current, you know, Intercontinental Champion. So, you know, there's a lot of high stakes for him to you know, get the win here tonight. Yeah, what is on the line for him? He's got to go against five of her people to try to retain his championship here. But now, what's it, what can it do here? And really starting off strong, going against the Kyra Riley there. And now, Roderick trying to get rid of Booker early on. Yes, yeah, so that's going to be kind of tough to keep up with some of the action at points. It's the thing with these kind of match types yeah and there will be some quick betting going on into the chat for you guys and now wait d has got him up and a big Samoan drop there and ooh, Roderick almost eliminated there just by the skin of his teeth yeah he lit just about survived there very close to being eliminated yeah and now wait Kyle could be getting eliminated early on and, but now what is the deal we're going to do? Can he get rid of Roderick Strong? No, he would not be able to. It would have been too soon for eliminations here. Yeah, a little bit too soon to start thinking about that. You know, in these sort of matches, you want to wear down to your opponent to a point you think you could quite easily eliminate him. Yeah. And now, wait, what is uh, Kyle Riley trying to do here? Lance Storm could Lance be the first one eliminated and really but what if Austin Aries is the first one wounded? That would mean a new champ guarantee. That would, that would certainly, you know, happen if, you know, we would have a new champion if Austin Aries got eliminated. So that's the thing. He doesn't want to get eliminated early on. He's got to survive to the very end, but it's not going to be easy for him. It's sort of match type. It really, the target is really going to be on Aries head here as he is the champion everyone's probably going to be trying to get him eliminated here but now Booker able to stay alive here against Ares yep yeah, but stay alive and no one yet to be eliminated but we could be about to see our first one here yep Kyle Riley from Red Dragon could be getting eliminated no he will not but Roger working over on Booker right in front of us there but now, what is Ares looking to do? This is a high risk. He could fall off there. Oh. But, oh. Yeah, what? see, he went for the high risk. Lance Storm rolled out the way. And Lance Storm able to scout him out there. And now, could this just be the end for, I believe that's Kyle Riley there. And, oh, oh. Ooh, right. able to stay alive. 
Nair just, just manages to hang on there. And now Lance Storm, he's in danger. Could he be about to be eliminated? Yeah, our champ trying to go to win Storm. This could be it for him. It, oh. Oh, oh, he hangs. Yeah, he hangs there. Well, pulls himself back in. Yeah, if anything, maybe one foot hit the ground, but both feet have to hit the ground to get eliminated here. Yep, they're certainly doing. Well, Stair is thinking of safety again, but this time I still just elbows him in the face. Yeah, oh, well, Osteris could be about to be eliminated. Yeah, Osteris could be right here. And oh, wait. Devo staying alive. Strong staying alive, but what about Ares? Ares eliminated. Ares is gone, and we are guaranteed a new Intercontinental Champion. Yeah, and right and after these messages. Yeah. Right after these matches, indeed. And guys, do not forget about Swamboree. Just, I believe, about four days away. Just so close. Sorry, three days. Just this Sunday, Swamboree. Anything can happen. Feast or fire. But oh, wait, as we come back, Dio Brown has been eliminated. Yeah, Deanna Brown gone from the matchup just as we come back for her commercial. And I would that's Fuffle guaranteed a new Intercontinental Champion. Yeah, a new champion indeed. And we're going to quickly look at who everyone was going for here. 19.3 was going for Aries there, so that was a guaranteed loss right there. 41.1 going for Kyle O'Reilly. And 39.6 for Burker. Zero for Lance, Duo, and Strong. Wow. Considering... You know, Roderick Strong was, is the former, well, the second former Intercontinental Champion, considering now Osteris is your, your former Intercontinental Champion. Mm -hmm. And really, a lot of high faith for Kyle O'Reilly. But wait, Lance Storm? Staying alive. God, just about. Nearly gotten there, and your book of in danger. Oh, he stays there, but look at this. Roger Strong's trying to. No, sorry, Kyle O'Reilly tried to push him out. Yeah, trying to get rid of Booker T there. But, ooh, now they were going to get strong out there. But now, is Booker going to be eliminated here by Kyle O'Reilly? No. Not having enough there. But wait, what is Roger Strong looking to do here? And throw a tossing over Lance Storm. There we go, Lance Storm out of this matchup. Well, we're down to the final three. And, oh, I thought... Carl O'Reilly was going to be gone there, but reverses Booker T. Yeah, you know. But now Carl O'Reilly could be getting eliminated here by Booker. Oh, he, he's hanging on for desperate life, and as you see, Roger Strong just standing there. Yeah, really. I guess even though he is, well, the former champ, uh, Roger Strong, he really is the underdog going into this. Has no one believed in him here, and th th right here is the top two. Of Booker T and Kyle O'Reilly. Yeah, and look at this. Dive Roger Strong and Booker T working together to try to get rid of Kyle O'Reilly, but no. He fights him off. Yeah, not going to be able to get off there. And just a big suplex there. Big suplex. And now Kyle O'Reilly and Roger Strong try to take out each other. Booker T might be wise here to maybe kind of just hang back a bit, regain some energy. Yeah, and well, Kyle, it, Roger Strong has been eliminated. Well, there, and we're down to the final two. Who is going to walk out your new Intercontinental Champion at all? Just come back. Booker T nearly eliminated, but no, stays in. Yeah, able to stay alive. And now Booker trying to get rid of Kyle Riley. Could he be about to? Kyle Riley's got to try and hang on for dear life. Can he do it? Yeah, and wait. Can he get rid of Kyle Riley right here and become the new Intercontinental Champion? No, not able to have the strength. Kyle was able to hang on, but now Booker trying everything he can, but it's just a big punch there by Kyle. Yeah, but he's still loving this with these two. Well, it just shows how much Intercontinental Championship means to them. Look, just exhausting each other. Both men equally tired right now. Very able to get up to their feet. Someone's gonna have to get eliminated here soon. Yeah, it's got it's gotta happen soon. One of these men is going over the top rope, but we're getting a new intercontinental champion. Yeah, and I'll just taking him down there. 
What is Booker T. Wilkin to do here? Got him up for a... Oh, geez. And kind of like a backbreaker on the top of his shoulder there. Yeah, just trying to wear down Carla Raleigh. Just... That's the thing you got to do, just wear down your pod to you point you think you can eliminate them. Booker T's thinking he can do it now. Yeah, can he get it done right now? And no, able to dodge the punch and go right in for the shoulder tackle there. And now, looking to, oh no, going to be going off the ropes. And I don't think Kyle expected that. No, you're asking for a timeout, it looked like. I don't know why. Booker T's not going to give you one. He is an in-ring veteran. Yeah, and wait. What is Kawari looking to do here? Now just attacking the back here. No, no. And a beautiful snap suplex. Yep, the, the Northern Lights is there by Kyle O'Reilly. And now he's in full control. Yeah, and now, ooh, and a big knee there. And now Kyle looking like he could get it done here for the House of Truth. He could be about to. He's thinking about it. Could gold be going to the house of truth? Yeah, I'm sure all truth is watching in the back, just thinking what, how great it would be to have the Intercontinental Championship in the stable, but it's Booker T. Stay on. He's only got one hand hanging on. Can, has he got the strength? Oh, 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 oh. Booker able to stay alive. and Now he's calling for a timeout. Nah, but Carl Riley will get a fool for that one. Yeah, and now I think this could be the beginning of the end for Brooker T here. All he needs to do is just get a, just a little bit over. Yeah, Brooker T is in a danger zone right no. now. Oh, oh my goodness. How is Booker staying alive here? I mean, really, this is what the Intercontinental Championship means to him. Yeah, that's just the thing. It shows how much it does mean. And oh, Brooker T, he's got Carl Riley in a dangerous position here. Ready to eliminate. Yeah, this could be it right here. And come on. Is this going to be enough for Booker T to be our new champion? And no, it would stay in. Oh, these two are just going at it. Yeah, now throwing them off. What's he looking to do? This could be Kyle's chance to make himself famous. No, not going to be able to happen. Ooh, then just a big DDT there. Yeah, now Booker going high risk here. Could be a mistake. Waiting for Kyle to get up here, maybe. And oh my goodness, and a big move by Booker. He needs yeah, to the... quickly capitalize and toss him over. But he doesn't know what to feel. He'd hit the big Houston hangover there, but not really sure what to do after it. Eliminate the guy, go for it. You've got yeah, the chance. Throw him over while he's disoriented. Wait. See what gonna do here in a big Samoan drop. Don't know if it book team made a little bit of a mistake there. He should just eliminate straight out try go for elimination after you stay hanger, but now he's thinking about it. Yeah, here he goes. And Kyle already hanging on by one hand there, and there he goes. And well, <laughs> our new champion, Booker T. Yep, your new intercontinental champion. There he is. It's well Booker T. A very big win by Booker T, and we got ourselves a new Intercontinental Champion. Well, what what a huge win for Booker T here tonight. Yeah. We have to see who could be well. The next, got well, who will face him? Could Austin Aries possibly get a rematch? Yeah, well, will Aries get the rematch, or will it be Kyle Riley? Because Kyle was the final two. That's a possibility. You have to wait and find out. But wow, what a match. Yeah, what a match indeed. And now we're going to go on to our next match as Bobby Lashley will be going against Braun Strowman here. And of course, I forgot to mention that the, every loser of that last match all went to uh, Feast or Fire. Oh, I forgot to mention that. But now, here comes Bobby Lashley. Yep, there he is, aptly named the Destroyer. Bobby Lashley coming to the ring. Well, this is going to be just two very destructive people taking on each other. Yeah, two very angry people. And of course, 
we saw a couple weeks before when Lashley came out and helped, I believe it was CM Punk, when Strowman was attacking him. And really, just this feud has been red hot ever since then. It really has, and now we get to see these two clash in a ring. Really is a, well, such a huge match. I'm trying to think of what you'd call it. Yeah, really, and now here comes Showman, and really, Lashley is not a small man, but when you look at the size of this man, it's just unbeatable. That's what I was thinking. It is basically the unstoppable force meets the immovable object. That is what this match is. Yeah, that's what this match is here indeed. As here comes Braun Strowman. And well, like you said, the um, immovable object here. He's got. He's probably one of the strongest competitors here on Impact. And he's going to be showing it here to Lashley. Yeah, he is. I mean, you, you just look at the size of Braun Strowman. It tells you the story of just, you know, this guy. He's going to be dominant in a ring. I mean, Lashley's one of the guys that can match up to him, but I'd hate to see anyone else face Strowman. Yeah, well, Strowman looking ready to absolutely destroy the Destroyer. And well, as we're about to get this match underway, Jason, who are you going to be going for here? Uh, as, as good as Lashley is, I have to go with Prod Strowman. I mean, the guy is just so powerful. He's such a destructive person. I think he, he's going to look to try to dominate the match. It's not going to be easy for him, but I think he's going to use all his power to get the win. Well, as a very shocking of turns here, the fans are going for Lashley here. 63.1%, 36.9% for Strowman. Really just shocking there? That's what I mean. Lashley, he, he's very strong. He's very fast, athletic. I mean, he has got the experience edge, but I think just Braun Strowman, and it's just suffered about him. I think he's going to get him to win here tonight. Yeah, man. Well, I think he may have said it there. I think he's really going to have to use his speed here and, well, the toys as well. And, oh, good Lord, look at that from Lashley. Broad Strowman just getting right back up. Yeah, well, he's not getting right back up now. <laughs> and not now. He, and Lashley just telling him to get up. Yeah, really. It took two shots straight to the head for him to be able to stay down. But now he's back up. And oh, and a big choke slam there. Go right onto that well. Onto the floor there that hasn't got very much padding or protection. Yeah, Bruce he, Strowman's getting a bit close to us, and oh, look at that. Please get away from us. Yeah, well, uh, uh, um, I've had my time in the ring. Well, Don't get back in there. It's all the way to the left there. Yeah, so, go in turn, do something. Um, go, how rude. He just told me to go away. Well, good, good thing his mic is silenced. Mm. He thinks he's talking. But he's not. All right, well, now throwing uh, Lashley into there. And w what's Brown looking to do? Rolling the ring, but this gives Lashley an opportunity to get any attack. But there we go, see? Strowman making a mistake there against Lashley. Stuff you don't want to do. Yeah, now wait till we can do it. Oh, wait. What's going to whip them up there? But Strowman able to scan him out there with a big elbow. But now what's, what is this? Good Lord. Oh, the strength. Oh. That was just a deadlift there. Yeah, what power there by Braun Strowman. And now just dropping down the elbow and, and Lashley just looks out of it. Yeah, he does look pretty out of it, but look at that though. I think he was playing a bit possum there with Braun Strowman. They're saying he has got the experience edge. Yeah, but oh my goodness, the strength. Oh, God. What See, a that's the thing. Yeah, Lashley, he is extremely strong. Pulling that off. Yeah, really. He's probably one of the strongest guys we have here in FWW. Yeah, I didn't think anyone can do a press slam 
onto Braun Strowman. Well, actually, just absolutely shocking me here tonight. So, and he looked like he'd done it with ease. Yeah, like well, he's been doing it all before in a big spine buster. Now he thinks this is it. One, two, and only a two count. Just a two, and Lashley doesn't seem to believe. And look at that, Braun Strowman straight back up. And then there's the big headbutt there. But no, wait. Well, I should be able to get back into this. And again, just showing off his strength there. You know, I, I'm very impressed with what Lashley's pulling off here. Yeah, what's he looking to do? And a big hit to the back there. And now just a big belly to belly. And lifting that man off his feet there. Lifting him up with absolute ease there is Lashley. He's making Braun Strowman all of his strong. And oh god, what's Lashley got planned here? Oh my god. And oh my goodness. Good lord. And just a big tackle there through the ropes. But now Strowman just. But that didn't seem to phase Braun Strowman one bit. Can anything phase this man? God, that uh, each time I see him, I get just get that little bit more scared of the guy. Lashley's spinning through the ropes, and Strowman got pretty much straight back up from it. Yeah, and Lashley was still trying to recover. It's almost as if Lashley took more of it. And oh my goodness, what is this? Oh my god! Oh. Just slamming him down. That could be it. One, two. Oh. What? But. Lashley's staying alive in this one. How is he staying alive in this? Don't know how wise it is. He might just have anchored Strowman. But yeah. Strowman doesn't seem to know what to think there, and Lashley Wait. takes advantage of it. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. But look, Strowman had got out of it. Yeah, Strowman was able to get out of it. Which, like, Lashley was trying to go for a electric chair, but was not able to get it. And now, what is Strowman looking to do here? Just trying to punish Lashley here. It's forearm shots to the bat there, and he thinks it's over. Yeah, two. It is. Wow. i got to say, Strowman tonight, he just showed off that no matter what you seem to hit him with, he just gets straight back up. Yeah, and well, just nothing really seemed to have phased Strowman here and a big win by Braun Strowman and now we're going to go on to our Joker's Wild here. Uh, it will be well the random pick team this week. Come to find out. Well it's your best friend Kevin Fell. Wait what? There he is. He gets another opportunity. What, is your music going to play? Are, you, are they going to reunite you guys? Right in front of me. Just, no, no, no. I mean, you'll have to commentate on your own for the rest of the show. Apparently, I have music. Hopefully, they don't play mine. Isn't your arm still kind of banged up? Yeah, it's still messed up. I really can't rest. I hope they don't play mine. But Kevin Fell is out here. Ugh. Ugh. And well... well we're not looking at him having a second tall reign as Joker's World Tag Team and, well, Champion. I'm, I'm being told he wants to be called now the phenomenal Kevin Fell. Mm, don't know how that's going to sit well with su some people, with it, especially a certain somebody. Yeah, well. And what? what and Kalisto? What? All this, right, okay. This is certainly an odd pairing. This team isn't going to work. Well, saying that though, when our current champions, of course, um, Enzo and Curtis Axel, when they came out, we didn't, know, we didn't think they would mesh at, at all. But, yeah, but, gotta, but think it, about it. The speed of Kalisto and the strength of the phenomenal Kevin Fell. Don't call him the phenomenal Ken Phil. He's just Ken Phil, and reality, he's actually that strong. Look at him. He looks like he but, hits the gym. 
<sighs> yeah, sure. I'm the one who put in the work when we were tag team champions. Well, fair, fair enough. So, so it, Kalisto's going to have to do all the work here tonight. Yeah, well, here comes one half of the Joker's Wild tag team champions, Curtis Axel. And here's a guy who I'd say actually has a right to call himself phenomenal, Curtis Axel, one half of your Joker's Wild Tag Team Champions. Yeah, and well, here he comes, making his way down to the ring, and I had lots of doubt last, well, last week on Nitro when they won the Joker's Wild Tag Team Championship. I mean, the ta just thinking of a tag team of Curtis Axel and Enzo Amore, I, I just didn't think that would work out together at all. But it seemed to somehow work out, but I, I, I think there's shock results or, you know, surprise ones, and then it's just ridiculous ones you know aren't going to happen. Yeah. Like if, that, if it happened, the world might actually explode. Yeah, well, well, you can't take anything off of Curtis Axel. He's a three-time TV champion. And now a one-time Joker's Wild Champion, of course, well, the current. Yep, but well, he's just getting ready, looking very intense, ready for his tag team partner. Yep, waiting on Enzo here. Yeah, well, here comes Enzo Amore, and well, I heard he grabbed his, his mic. Yep, he's grabbed his mic, and what has he got to say? Matt, well, got to be quiet. How you doing indeed and and I'd, actually I've got a be better name for for Kevin Fell. Okay. The the soft one, Kevin Fell. I, I think I think Enzo would approve. He he would. Cause he is about to he, he is about to say Well I think I feel I thought he was gonna spell out No no, no only uh, Big Cast does. Oh, okay. I only pick Cassidy to spell out all our opinions on Kevin Fell and him being soft. Yeah, well. Let's see how it's going to happen here. Oh, he's so ugly. He's phenomenal. Oh, no, he's not. I think AJ Styles would disagree. Yeah, well, that's over on Nitro. Wait, wait, this tag team. Yeah, well, we could end up seeing Styles invade Impact just for Kevin Fell being an idiot. Yeah, well, you never know. Well, maybe we'll see that match at the draft. But there it is, your Joker's World Tag Team titles. About to get this match underway. Yeah, and well, we're going to get this match underway. And we're a little confused on who was supposed to be the first man there. <laughs> and now... Well, with that being said, though, I, Jason, I, I, I assume you're probably going to be going for uh, Enzo and Axel here. Yep, I have to. The fact is, I'm the only one who has actually somehow managed to put up with Ken Fell and his shenanigans. I think Kalisto's going to get sick of the man's ego, and they're not going to work as a team. Yeah, and well, well, let's see how the fans are thinking here fans 86.1 percent on kevin and kalisto what Only uh, i i get i guess kevin fell must have been hiding his phone around so he could make a quick bet on himself Ugh, oh, oh, that must have been what he grabbed out of his pocket before and what well, fans chanting how you doing and there he goes enzo and really this could be a quick match one, They're already thinking two. about the. Not enough. And well, 
What is Kevin Phil looking to do here in a big suplex there? It's a huge suplex there and might be Kevin Phil's time to uh, tag in Kalisto. He nearly got pinned already. Well, it was only a two count. Yeah, but come on, we're, we're two minutes into match. He's already kicking out a two. If, I, if that was me, I would have kicked out a one. Oh, I wouldn't even kicked out one. I would have kicked out a zero. Yeah, well, fair enough. But now Kalisto going in. But, I mean, did you not see the big the big um, the bomb there by uh, Enzo Amore off the top rope? It was a big splash, but I mean, come on. As I said, not much damage has been actually realistically done at that point. But still, Enzo Mora in a dangerous area right now. Yeah, very dangerous area early on. And now just tagging guns and really just look at these two. They are teaming up here on the outside against uh, Enzo. Yeah, but the referee up to a four count. I mean, if Enzo got counted out of here, him and Axel would retain. That would very well be true, as they're up to a six count. What's Kalisto doing inside? Seven. Well, Impact will return after this, and I'm sure Enzo will get back in. But guys, Tuesday night Nitro, every Tuesday night, it was on a Wednesday this week due to weather problems, but guys, every Tuesday night, 6 in the East, 11 in the UK, don't miss it. Yeah, well, I guess he was able, to, Enzo was able to get in before and tag Curtis Axel and Axel with the Hangman Face Buster. Oh, uh, hits it. it. Yeah, this One, could be it. Two. Ooh, only a two count. Kevin Fell managed to get in there, but now it's Kalisto in there to, well, just to do all the work. And then Kevin Fell probably to tag himself in and pick up the scraps if Oh, look, Selena uh, Del Sol! Yeah, Selena Del Sol, but the ref was distracted by something there. It was not, it didn't go down for the pin. Uh, if he did, though, Enzo would have been there too quick anyway. Yeah, Enzo was already inside the ring, attacking Kevin Fell. But now, what is Kalisto looking to do here against Curtis Axel? Oh, but Curtis Axel too quick and... Oh, he looked like he was about a hangman face buster again, but Kalisto managed to reverse. And oh, and the big kick there. Yeah, the big super kick there by Kalisto, and thinking it's over. Two. Ooh, only a two count. Yeah, Curtis Axel's staying alive, but he's in danger. He may want to think about tagging in Enzo Amore. It really needs to get Enzo in here. That'll finish the match. But now, but Kalisto is able to get Kevin. And will is Kevin really just picking up the scraps? Eh, more than likely. Ooh, now it's dropping down the leg. Anyway, what's he looking to do here? And just a big shoulder there. But now, wait. One. Up, oh, going for the pinfall. A two count. Maybe a wise idea though for Kurt Axel tagging Enzo, but now he's thinking about continuing on the attack. Yeah, what is uh, now Axel looking to get Enzo in here finally? Here he comes. Yep, here he comes into this matchup. Oh, look at that huge cross body there. It's and I'll go for the pinfall. Could this be it? Two. Two count. Well, Kevin able to kick out there. And so he just needs to continue on the attack though. Didn't let himself get frustrated there. Very wise. Yeah, and now what's he looking to do? Throwing him into the corner. I mean, he's got something planned here. And, oh, up. I think he's thinking of it. No! And Kevin Fell has been cut open. Oh, he's even more uglier now than he already was, but the big tornado DDT pin him, Enzo. Wait, he's going no. to the top. I think he's going for for the big splash bomb. Yeah, he, no, no, he's going for the big elbow, actually. But come on, here's your chance. Pin him. Enzo is stomping on him like he's... Garbage? Like... Yeah. And oh, Gosh. God. A snapmare, but a very odd-looking snapmare there. Yeah, snapmare from the side and 
Kevin all cut up there. How much longer is he really going to last? Don't know how much longer, but yeah, he is in big trouble here. And oh, God, what has Enzo got planned here? Yeah. Oh, no. What is he going through? A back suplex here, it looks like. And there it is. Oh, my God. That could be it. That could be the match over. Enzo's just got to get up and think about pinning him. Here we go. I think oh, he's... Wait. Yeah, there you nope. go. Now he's going for the pin. Did it take too long? Two? Three? No, he took it just enough time. And Enzo and Axel able to retain the Joker's Wild Tag Team Championship. See, I was right there just... I was the only one who could ever somehow work with Kevin Fell, anyone else, and he just tries to take the match for himself. Yeah, just really Cost just, him and Kalisto. Yeah, just a big win by Axel and Enzo, and really a very shocking team here is still continuing on. But who could be the next team to all come up against them? Yeah, who is it going to be indeed? We're going to go to our next match as Rick Rude will be going against Johnny Charisma. And Johnny Charisma found himself a manager here. Do you know who that is? I, I think we'll find out in a few minutes. But well, coming out first, he is a former CWF champion, Rick Rude. Yep, a former CWF champion who, well... Ever since he lost that title, has been in nothing but a foul mood. Even fouler than well he originally was. Yeah, but like I've been saying before, it wasn't really just a blessing in the skies. He was able to not get his arm broken by Cork being right after the match. Instead, it was Bret Hart, and of course, he had to relinquish that title. And now Rick Rude will be going to Swim Marie, entering that six man for the world title. Let's see if he will be able to get it, but you gotta be quiet. What I'd like to have right now is for all you fat, ugly, inner city sweat hogs, keep the noise down while I take my robe off and show the ladies what a real sexy man looks like. Hit the music. And again, calling everybody just the inner city sweat hogs. Yep, he always calls these fans the inner city sweat hogs here in Long Island. Yep, here, of course, in Long Island, New York. And, well, looking ready here. But it's going to be going against Johnny Charisma here. Johnny Charisma is. No joke here, he's been doing very well here on Impact, and now he's got himself a manager? That's just double trouble. There yeah, it is. Johnny Charisma, I mean, he's very skilled in the ring. When we first saw him, I didn't think much of him, but he's impressed me ever since. Yeah, and here he comes. Uh, manager, you might want to watch out. I don't think he's going to And Wait, wait. And his manager is a tough enough winner in Tony Blair. What? See, I had a feeling I thought I recognized it, but I didn't want to say anything. I wanted to, you know, give some suspense. Yeah, well, Johnny Charisma able to find himself a new manager here, and really to able to bring him to new heights here, and none other, no one better than uh, Tony Blair. Yep, Tony Bloody, well said, one of the tough enough winners. Back of his, 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 weed the people. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait a minute. Is is Long Island legalized the stuff? I, I I don't think so. God, he's not gonna get away with that. That's that's kind of controversial. Yeah, well, maybe he's trying to run for president. You never know. And oh, look at this! Though Johnny Chris are already getting into the match with a double underhook suplex there. Yeah, and, well, Jason, who are you going to go for here in this matchup? Oh, God. Well, I, I was thinking 
Johnny Crisp for having Tony Blair, but after seeing the despicable thing on the back of his jacket, I want Rick Rude to win this matchup. And yeah, well, I, as I'm closing now, I think everyone was right with you. As soon as they saw we the people, I think everyone went to Rick Rude as it's a hundred percent for Rick Rude. God, Tony Blair could get some serious heat for that. No problems backstage. And well, just Tony trying to send his message of weed the people. And just look at that. Is he trying to get the stuff legalized here in Long Island? Oh, uh, what? I'm I'm getting some information from the people in the back. Weed is legal in New York. Oh. Well, Tony Blair is just trying to get everybody high. Great. That's still not a good message. I mean, it's not so bad that we're in a place that's legalized this stuff, but still. Yeah, but but still, it it's only for medical purposes. Yeah. Oh, not man. not for, for your own little, you know, playtime. Because we got to focus on the match. to focus on Tony Blair. Right now, well, Rick Flair was a killer. Damn, I hope it, I was hoping his foot would kick Tony Blair square in the jaw. But wait, no, wait. What's what's Charisma looking into here? Oh my goodness! And oh my oh goodness. god! Just shattering the back of Rick Rude there. And yeah, that is the hardest part of the ring is the sides there. Yeah, and but Rick Rude able to come up like it was nothing though, and now. We're bringing the fight to Charisma, and well, Tony was looking very scared there, backing away. Uh, I thought he was a former, you know, the tough enough word. Why is he? He should be scared of anyone. He's meant to be tough enough. Well, he, he's still, he, he's an old man. How did he win? He's an old man. <laughs> uh, many are still wondering, how did he even enter? I don't know, but... Johnny Crusoe, oh, what a drop kick there. Yep, and really taking it to Rick Rude. What's he doing here? And, oh, wait, the Guns got, and Roses bomb. Yeah, the Guns and Roses bomb and hits it. Oh. That could have been it, but no, Rick Rude survives. Oh, stays in this matchup. Yeah, and now going into a rest hold. And. And just, and I just saw t Tony over there going to the fans. He had his hand over his heart, and he was yelling, "Weed the people." Oh. He is not a good influence. And he was to, the, to the families watching this show, do not follow what he is saying. He, no. Oh no! What is Johnny Christmas? Though, oh, oh my goodness, he's thinking about it. He's thinking about it, Aaron. Oh my! Goodness. Oh God! What a drop kick there! And Rick Rude's gonna be out, isn't he? That has to be it. One, two, and three, and a big win by Johnny Charisma. Well, big win by Johnny Charisma. I didn't actually need any help at all from Tony Blair. He it just went in there, done the job, came out the victor. He was out there for the assist, just in case. But now, we're going to go on to our next match, a highly anticipated match here in Quark Bane versus Jim Neidhart. Yep, last week, where well, we saw what Jim Neidhart hard down to Claude Bane, cost him a hardcore title. Now, Claude Bane wants his revenge. Yeah, and now, here comes Quark Bane. Oh, always gives me chills. power of this man arm breaker is just impeccable he my arm is still broken after what he has done to me yeah I mean Clawbane he's just well a dangerous individual some people saying he should be taken to you know one of those mental institutes 
yeah, really just the whole entire ministry of darkness, Undertaker, Demon King, and Quarkbane, all of these men are just maniacal, and of course, Undertaker has a chance at Slamboree to be winning the CWF title, but now, Quarkbane has some unfinished business with Jim Neidhart. Yeah, he, he wants to get revenge. And Jim Neidhart and won't be surprised tonight if Claude Bain tries to break his arm. Well, that's what he said before. He said he guaranteed that your arm will be broken by the end of this Extreme Rules matchup. Here comes Jim Neidhart and well, he doesn't feel any fear though from Claude Bain. Yep, Jim well Jim the Anvil Neidhart coming down here gonna be trying to defend the right of his family here of course for Bret Hart who had his arm broken at Starcade he's be looking to try to get revenge for Bret and that's what Jim Neidhart wants to do tonight but it could, could come back to bite him very badly because we know what Claude Bain's capable of well Jim is fully aware of what it's capable of it's happening to one of his brothers-in-law and Bret Hart yeah, Brett is still trying to recover his arm, still fully broken from Corbane. Well, let's get this match out of the way, and I still don't want to know how Corbane got those scars. I honestly do not want to know. But now Corbane started off here against Jim, and now let's see who the fans are going for here indeed and well this is very shocking to me it's a very small but Jim the number one person here the favorite 51.8 percent leaving 48.2 for Corbin. good lord uh, I'm rather surprised that the fans would go for Jim Neidhart here tonight but I guess they think he does stand a chance against Clark Bain and could be the one to have take down Clark Bain because, I mean, yes, I may suggest beat Clark Bain last week, but it was a lucky win thanks to Jim Neidhart. Yeah, and really just, well, Jim is definitely one of the harder hitter, harder hitters here in, on the in impact, but against Clark Bain here, I don't, I don't really know how much of a chance he has. We have to see, I mean, Jim Neidhart, you've got, I mean, give him credit, he is one of the toughest individuals in wrestling. He has, he doesn't back down from any challenge at all. Yeah, including this one, but, I mean, and this is, of course, extreme rules here, no holds barred. So, the toys will be coming into play here, anything goes, including broken arms. Like yep. One. Two. Wow, a two count already so far. Two count already. And that's just that's how Claude cool, likes to just play mind games. He's one of the master of mind games here in FWW. Yeah, and but now Jim looking to do something here against Corbin. Slammed him down. Now going into a rest hold here. They're just trying to wear down Clawbane, but it's not doing much. Clawbane getting up and now just the elbow shots to the stomach there. Yeah, and but wait, and a sidewalk slam there by Corbane. Now what's he looking to do here? Going to go for the pin early on. One, now this could be two, it. Two, and only a two count. And Corbane can't believe it. No, he can't. And the thing is, Jim Neidhart, he may have wanted to stay down because that may just make Claude Bain just even more angry and give him even more reason to break his arm. Yeah, swimming him down and now just... And the nerve of Jim Neidhart here. Oh, the nerve of that man! To do such a move against Claude Bain. But look at that, though. Claude Bain, it just angered him. Yeah, and now, really just... Claude Bain, now looking happy and I definitely feel like 
that arm breaker will be coming very soon. But right now, Jim trying to stay on top here, trying to get some toys to even out the playing field here, and he's got himself a ladder, maybe signifying signifying about Slamboree this Sunday. Yeah, gave a little bit of a symbolism there, and now just trying to beat down on Claw Brain there. Ladder's set up there, but neither well. There we go, Jim Nineheart's got it. Is he going to use it? Yes, he is. He's. Oh, good lord. Right on the back of Corbane. He's trying to beat him down. Have a look at that, Club. I get it back. Ooh, face first into Jim there. Face first there, and what's Club? I got here. Oh, he's putting him back in the ring, and. Could we be about to see the beginning of the end? Yeah, now just the big punch there, but Jim, and oh my goodness. What a shoulder tackle there. Clubbine could be out. Two, and Jim, very close. I'm picking up a win there. Yeah, very close to. Getting a win there, but Clubbait's surviving in this matchup. Yeah, and now, what is Jim working to do here against Warbrain? Got him up, and then a big belly to belly. It's the outside of the ring there. These two have just been going at it, holding nothing back against each other. And of course, no holds barred. Now the big punches. And now an arm drag here. And oh no. Oh, he's got him up. Well, he's got him goozled around the neck and oh, Ooh. choke slam. One handed, and I think Jim's done. One, two, three. And a big win for Quirk being here. Yep, the big win here tonight. And well, you just thought about the choke slam. Jim and I might have dodged a bullet here tonight. Yeah, it was just a choke that wasn't the arm breaker and well Jim may be able to keep his arm for another day and a big win there as we're gonna go on to our next matchup. Undertaker versus Edge, our main event of the evening. Yep, we just had well one minute trip darkness of ever win a match. Can the Undertaker follow suit and get one of his own? Yep. Here comes Undertaker trying to really get back at Edge. Of course, Edge last week at the end of the show spearing The Undertaker after his big win. Now, The Undertaker's going to try to get revenge. Yeah, The Undertaker after that, that happened. Well, the thing is, you don't want to anger The Undertaker. It's one thing you don't really want to do is get this man angry because he will try and end your career given the opportunity. Right after Impact last week, when he got speared, as soon as Undertaker could, he went right to Mikey's office and demanded a match with Edge here today. And well, this is how this match is coming here. Yeah, that's how it's come about. And well, of course, you can listen to The Undertaker's demands. I mean, otherwise, you know what The Undertaker and the Ministry are capable of. Yeah, of course. They might steal his daughter again. I mean, I'm I'm hoping they've got constant security for her now, so that doesn't happen. Yeah, I've, 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 ever since then, I've I've seen Mikey with his daughter, like pretty much inseparable, trying to keep her in sight. But now, Undertaker looking ready. Well, we we await the next compare for this one. A man who, well, there is a man who, I think, set a bit of a fire that he or started a fire he shouldn't have. Yeah. Well, well Mikey was talking about, of course, getting an opportunity when it knocks, and well, Edge was his man, but Edge may be having to pay for what he did last week. That's the thing about, you know, sometimes you need to think about the actions that you're 
make him because they could have 10 times worse reactions. That's what Edge could be about to suffer here tonight is a much worse reaction to his actions of last week. Yeah, but you got to give it to Edge here coming out here. He's not scared of Undertaker. No, he's, not, he's showing no fear, but that could be about to change once the bell rings. Yeah, well, I think the only thing saving him here is that Mikey was able to make this just a normal match here, not extreme rules, so the toys would not be coming into play here. Well, as we get this match underway, Jason, who are you going to be going for here? Uh, I have to go with Undertaker. After last week, Undertaker is just the mood he's going to be in. I think he's going to look to destroy Edge, and he might be able to do it. Yeah, might be able to do it here indeed. And now, we'll see who the fans are going to be going for here. Fans, surprising again tonight here. 62.6% .6 going for Edge. Only 374 for Undertaker. Uh, it does surprise me quite a bit. I thought that the majority would go for Undertaker. Maybe they do have that faith that Edge can get the win here tonight. Yeah, really. But you got to think here. Mikey chose Edge here. He has to have chosen for a reason. Well, Edge is called the ultimate opportunist for a reason. He'll take advantage of any opportunity he gets in a match, whether it's following rules or not. Yeah, now just Undertaker, what is he looking to do here against Edge? Got him up here now, and just showing off his strength here. Yep, showing off his powerful strength there with an impressive suplex. I'd say that just a close fist punch to Edge. I said Edge could have made a huge mistake last week. Yeah, and now what is Undertaker looking to do? But no way, Edge able to come back here. Able to counter there, get back into the matchup. Yeah, and trying to rear and tear into Undertaker, but Undertaker having none of it. I managed to break out of it. Now it's going to look to do. Oh no. Oh, he's thinking about it already. And going for old school early on, and look at the balance of Undertaker on the ropes, and oh, and down Good he goes. Good lord, that always impresses me when Undertaker does that. Just the balance to be able to pull that off. One, two, no, only a two count. Now, but what is Undertaker looking to do here? And oh, and a big close one from Edge. Uh, Edge showing off his speed there, catching Undertaker off guard, but Undertaker though just pushes Edge away with ease. And now Undertaker back in control yet again. What has he got planned here? Again, Edge up against the ropes. And taking him down here. Oh, without any hesitation, going over, but Edge. Oh my, oh my god, Edge dodged it. You, oh. Oh, you saw the way Undertaker landed, right? Yeah, Undertaker, his, his neck just buckled there as he hit the barricade. And just, what an amazing scouting by Edge there over Undertaker. But Undertaker, he was able to come back from that. Yeah, he was able to get up like nothing even happened to him. I don't think this is false count anywhere, but the ref's trying to... Go for a cover on the outside. I think he was telling Undertaker this is a false count. Anyway, if Undertaker was is so dazed by that, but he's still able to fight. Yeah, like you said, maybe dazing and confused. Before you know, maybe he could have a concussion after that. And that won't help him when it comes to, well, when he goes to Slamboree. Yeah, and slamming him down. Now, what is Edge looking to do here? What has he got planned? And I just throw an Undertaker over the rope, but Undertaker hangs on. Yeah, Undertaker holding on and punching Edge right into the face. They're dazing him a little bit. Now, it's his turn to go over the ropes this time, though. Now they're just taking this match up to the outside. God, this could get very dangerous out here. Yeah, it's just all the big punches by Undertaker. Now what is he looking to do here, Edge? 
Yep, Undertaker, one of the best strikers. What has he got planned here? Slamming his head against the poster, trying to cut Edge open without toys. But Edge, though, coming back. What is he? What? Go for an educator on the outside, but this, well, this is a said focus count anywhere or anything like that, so it won't count if. Now, I think Edge realized. Yeah, he had to quickly let that go and get back inside the ring before he got counted out there. But now, just a big shoulder tackle was there by Undertaker. Yep, and Undertaker just back in control of this matchup. And look at that, just a knee into the face there. Yeah, now wait, Undertaker going for the pin. One, two, Ooh, only a two count though. Now Edge trying to get to the corner, maybe trying to get to the ropes to help himself get up. But now Undertaker. What is we going to do here? But no, big elbow. The yeah, elbow Edge managed to reverse there. But Undertaker come back with a reverse STO there. Yeah, now Undertaker lifting him up. What's he trying to do here? Is he going for old school again? Oh, he looks like he is. Oh, the balance. God, how is he still balancing? I mean, he took a pretty nasty bump, but didn't affect his balance. Yeah, just absolutely not affecting his balance. Now going for the cover. One, two, and three. Ooh, only a two count, though. My goodness. Edge managed to stay alive in this one. I'm impressed. But it could be the beginning of the end for Edge. No way. I think Undertaker was trying to go for the finish there, but Edge able to scout him out. But now what's he looking to do? Oh, he's got... DDT! Yeah, hit, hits the execution there, and that could be a front. No, 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 Edge is setting up. Spear! Hits the spear! This could be it. That, One, this has to be two, it. two, and... What? Oh, my... What a main event this has been on Impact. I'm... Shocks! The Undertaker kicked out of that. But is Undertaker really taking the smart here? Should he have stayed down there and be ready for Swimbury? Because Swimbury only three nights away. Yeah, it is. But Undertaker, he doesn't back down. He doesn't. You know, he wants to win. Yep, slam him left and right now. Slam him down. Undertaker, he is in serious trouble now, though. Edge picking him up and... Wait, slamming him down, this could be it. One, two, and... Undertaker what? again, oh. able to kick out. God, Edge is hitting all his big moves and... God, uh, Edge has not been able to put Undertaker away somehow. No, no. Oh my God, though, look at that. Undertaker just... Catching Edge off guard and Tombstone. Tombstone here, but is his feet under the ropes? Yes, they are. Ah, oh, the mistake there by Undertaker. Yeah, really, the ref was not able to do the count there as Edge's feet were under the ropes and really Edge ultimate opportunist. Boy, Edge getting up there and now able to avoid Undertaker and what's like a Tried to go for a spear there, but Undertaker has scouted him out perfectly, and now he might be going for the final tombstone here. Yep. Edge tried to spear, but Undertaker reversed it with a big DDT, and he... Oh, he's got Edge for... Cut tombstone! Is his right foot under the ropes? It, they are! Edge... Really just great ring awareness, trying to get his feet to the ropes any way he could. And oh, just then the knee strike, but Edge could be in serious jeopardy now. What sort of damage does he take? What sort of condition might he go into slamboree with? Yeah, two big old schools, two the Tombstone Power Drivers. Is Edge really even going to be able to compete this Sunday? Cut open. Man, to take just trying to wear Edge down, but Edge with the. W Wherewithal to manage to, well, he's breaking out of it. Slammed him down. And just look at the crimson mask on Edge there. 
God, this is match has been brutal, but what a main event it has been. Yeah, Undertaker just slamming the edge there. And, and now into a gut buster there. And really, Undertaker just trying to make Edge pay for what he has done. That's what he's trying to do, but Edge catches Undertaker and another execution there. Yeah, execution there indeed, but that took everything out of Edge. Yeah, he is completely worn out, and Undertaker now getting back up. Edge had an opportunity to pin, but this match has just been so grueling. Will he even be able to go for his big spear here? Will he even get enough into it to take out Undertaker? He looks just so exhausted. Wait, wait, spear! Spear! Oh, spear! Oh, hits it, though, out of nowhere! This surely has to be it! Two! Three! And a big win by Edge, really just proving something here to Undertaker. Yep, the huge win by Edge here tonight, but you've got to wonder about the condition of both of these men going into Slamberino. You could see the blood on Edge. Yeah, just the blood on Edge, but Undertaker taking two spears, missing the suicide dive. What condition are either of these men going to be? for Swampery and just an amazing main event at Impact and well guys that is it here for Impact this is the last Impact before Swampery this Sunday Jason say goodbye to the fans goodbye fans and, and guys I'm of course the main commentator Jack Ramsey and I will see you guys all this Sunday for Swampery